So now that we've removed our element, uh, and in case where your thermocouple, which is this long probe here, has been damaged, uh, what I mean by that is it's popped at the end or nicked, um, or there's any sort of substantial damage to this thermocouple, you will have to replace your control. All you're gonna do, now in front here, your box is all disconnected, your wires are disconnected. All you're gonna do is pull, and as you pull, you're just gonna feed, feed your thermocouple through back. Now, it's important that you're not bending this. And the reason I say that when you're taking it out is just to practice not to bend that. So just go ahead and pull it out one wire at a time. And that's how you remove your control. So you're replacing your control. All you have to do is unwind one spool. Very important not to kink the spool. So you're gonna get it like this. All you're gonna do is unwind. You wanna unwind with the roll, not against. And it's only, it only takes about one, one twist and then you just get it straight. If you kink this, you will wreck it. So all you're gonna do, is there's a small hole inside of here. You're gonna run that thermocouple and both your wires through that hole. There's your grounding wire also. So once you get your thermocouple in your hole, don't worry about your electrical. What you're gonna do is you're gonna feed it through the thermocouple housing. Now, you're gonna have to just kind of pull up a little bit on your, on your thermocouple. Don't worry about bending it. It's not gonna hurt it as long as you don't kink it. So once you get your thermocouple in there far enough, then you can start feeding your wires through. One wire through at a time, it's just easier. Then go ahead on the back side, pull your wires again. When you're doing this, make sure that you're not putting a lot of pressure on that thermocouple wire. Just go ahead and pull through. And that's how you're gonna get that back in there. And then what you can do um, after you put after you put this mounting plate on um, from your old one, use use the old plate, put it on there, make sure your control shaft is in the center of this hole. So once you put this back on, this is for your, this hole is for your light, this hole is for your housing uh, of your shaft. What you're gonna do is go sideways and push the bottom in first, top, and then slide it behind that, behind that box. Line your wires up. Now, you don't have to hook this up yet. What you're gonna do is start with your electrical. So you wanna make sure that your right goes to your right and your left goes to your left. For the left side of your control is gonna to go to the rear element and the right side of your control is gonna to go to the front of your element. Once you get those connected, you're gonna get them nice and tight and then you're gonna put the two 832 screws back in here, put your plate back on, your plate back on here like so. Now this is upside down so don't get confused. Put your 1032 screws in there and you're good to go.